My name is Ian Tapp, I'm a dairy farmer from Crediton. We keep 150 cows all year round calving. We've got some Ayrshire's, we've got a Brown Swiss, a lot of British region in them as well. We tend to calve uh, heifers sort of one time of the year, which usually tends to be in the spring because then they can spread out during the year, um, the following years afterwards, so it gives us all round calving pattern. We haven't used any minerals now for two years. We went down the bolus route, which we seem to have improved our calving index, which is back from about two years ago, back to about 350, 60 days now, and it was 400. Uh, but we also do worm and fluke at the same time when we dry them off. And whether this has helped, a combination of all three is probably what sorted it out. But it seems to work. Why did you start using the Trace Your COI boluses? It was just having to chuck minerals into the mixer wagon and it was a pain in the backside to do it. And it was easier to give them a bolus at the right time of year. And it just it didn't seem to work well. We also do have a lot of sets of twins. We had 15 in the last 12 months. The cows must be fertile. To keep delivering twins like that. And when do you bolus? When we dry off, which is only between six and well four to six weeks before calving. We do have some what calve less than that um, because we're running bulls all the time. You know, it's only a PD date or we bring it into service date if we see it. You must have made a big difference to your pocket not having to feed minerals to the cows. I suppose it has. We've never really sort of taken it into account. But yes, I suppose if you put sat down and worked out, yes, it does save us quite a bit of money after that. And was one of the reasons for giving up the minerals because it's very difficult to know which cows have had that intake? Yes, not dry enough that every cow has the bolus and that's it, they're finished. You want a dry cow and a freshly cow, milking cow, having the right minerals at the right time and that, that's what it does. What has it meant for your system to reduce the calving index to the level it's at now? It's just made everything a little bit easier. They've actually given more milk over a shorter t- period now, so that's the yield's gone up. That's good, and I think it's all down to the bolus. What are those yields? We started off about two years ago. We're not high yields, we're about 6.2. Now we're just over 6.6, six, and I think in the next 12 months it'll go up to nearly 7. So it's going up. You, know, you can only tell what it's like 12 months after the event. So give us another 12 months on the bolus, and then we'll have a better idea. So really, you've seen your cost decrease and your income increase from increased milk yields. <laughs> yes, if you put it like that, yes. Will you continue to use the bowlers? I've just bought the uh, next, next year's forward, so yeah, we're committed for another 12 months.